Let me tell you what technology-enabled care is. It's the use of technology to support people to live longer, healthier lives at home or in a community setting like a care home or supported accommodation. As well as peace of mind for the individual, their family and carers, telecare may give people more freedom to live independently and safely in their own home and when out and about. It could even assist an earlier discharge home after a hospital stay. These systems enable people with complex physical disabilities to remain independent and safe at home. This service helps to empower people to manage their health and well-being and also helps them to understand what keeps them well. For some people, remote consultations are a more practical alternative to attending appointments in person. <laughs> Mary has had the odd stumble and can't get up as she falls. Mary loves to be active with her grandchildren and walking her dog. We've just had an alert from Mary Brown's fall detector. We've tried to call her but had no answer. Could someone go out and check please? Yep, we'll get out there as soon as we can. Some services have staff who respond and others have family and friends. Today is not starting well for Mr Smith, so he presses his alarm pendant. Hello Mr Smith, how can we help you? I'm not feeling great, I'm struggling to get out of my bed. We'll arrange to get someone out to you Mr Smith. Oh thanks. Just a little help from the responders allows Mr Smith to get on and enjoy his day. George's daughter is worried that he's becoming increasingly confused. He's forgetful and might not be coping at home. Activity monitoring assessment kits allow services and families to monitor an individual's activity over a 24 hour period. This really helps to identify times of need and types of services to be put in place. The care manager and family members can view George's activity online at any time. Using the information from the monitoring, George had smoke, gas and CO2 detectors and door contacts fitted. If the door contacts were triggered overnight, George would hear a pre-recorded message from the familiar voice of his daughter. Dad, it's too early to be up. Away back to your bed. Mark has been very tired during the day, which has been affecting his schoolwork. Mark's parents are concerned that he could be up and about for hours during the night. This would explain why he was always so tired. If Mark got up through the night and didn't get back to bed within 15 minutes, his mum would be alerted by a vibrating buzzer under her pillow. With the support of this technology, Mark's parents were able to establish a consistent nighttime routine. Environmental control equipment is configured to enable John to operate a number of things. His community alarm, adjust his chair, put lights on and off, make and receive phone calls, manage his door entry system, answering and unlocking the door, continue to create art and play music on his laptop. With this system, John is able to stay at home with four times a day support from carers and no support overnight. 
Home and mobile health monitoring empowers people to manage their health and long-term conditions. Florence is one of these and uses texting to prompt people with tailor-made messages. Monitoring can be used for many reasons such as to remind or encourage someone to do something, for example take medication or exercise, monitoring the effects of new treatments or stopping treatment, long-term condition management, or helping to diagnose for example, hypertension. Results are viewed by clinicians who decide if any intervention is required. It takes a huge effort for Mr Brown to attend his speech therapy appointment at hospital. He now relies on public transport, but he's often late and finds it quite stressful. Remote consultation offers secure video links to healthcare staff and people like Mr Brown to allow them to speak face to face. This has several benefits over a telephone conversation and is a similar service to Skype or FaceTime. Find out more about what's available in your area by clicking on the relevant link.